Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. How is everybody doing today? I hope everybody is having a wonderful week. It is Wednesday, yes, so we only have a couple more days till the end of the week, which is always nice, right? It's always nice to have uh, a few days off work. So, anyways, I am so excited to be here today. I'm going to be sharing with you guys um, something that's, that's rather new to me, although I've been... You know, I've been doing planners. I've been using planners for, for years and date books for years. And, you know, that's how I, that's the only way that I can function because I can't remember anything. So, um, but I haven't gotten into this latest phase of planners. And I'm telling you guys, I am completely hooked. I, I, I have been insane with this new stuff from Elizabeth um, craft designs. I'm so excited um, because today that is what we're going to be working on. We're going to be, I'm going to show you how to do a planner page and we're going to have some fun with that. I'm, I'm just over the moon about this stuff. This stuff is just so cool, you know, um, and so much different, you know, when I talk about using a date book, right, okay, I talk about, you know, I write a date in a book. Every once in a while, I'll stick some stickers in there or whatever, just so it's not so ugly. Um, but that's about it. Well, you know, planners have gone completely insane since then. And this the, the planner, you know, um, craze that's going on is just completely awesome. And I cannot wait to show you guys this. So, before I get started, let me say hello to everybody. Good morning, ladies. I see you already popping in. Jolene, hello. Rosario, hi, teen. Maria, let's see. Irene is here. Hello, Irene. Pam, hi, Pam. I haven't seen you for a while. Um, Let's see. And Kancha, I can never pronounce your name right. Please forgive me for that. But hello. How are you? So, and Lisa's here. Good morning, Lisa, Dorothy. Wow, look at all you guys. And Laura, hi. Well, we got a full house this morning. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm really excited about this, guys. Okay, so before um, I get started on the project, let me make a few quick announcements, okay? Um, you know, because, we, you know, we have to pay the bills. So wanted to let you guys know that um, if you don't already know, of course, that the summer issue of Bella is out. It is a free uh, craft magazine and that's all there is to it. It's just free. So, you know, head to our website and check it out. Anne was not feeling good yesterday. She's, um, she's just, she hasn't been feeling really good. So I'm not sure if she's going to pop in or not. So if she doesn't, I will put all the links in when I'm done. So don't worry about it. If you guys are wondering where links are, I'll put them in when I'm done with, with, um, my video. Okay. So also, um, while you're at the website, you know, bellacraftspublishing.com is the website make sure that you go over to in the right hand corner there is a tab that says publications and click on that tab and when you do it'll bring you a drop down menu of all of the awesome ebooks that we have for sale so you guys check those out um we've got some beautiful ebooks that have got step-by-step -step instructions beautiful photography you know some really they're 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 very um they're very high class books, I have to say. You know, Anna and I are very proud. We worked very hard, you know, in making sure that we, you know, bring you guys the best of the product. So, you know, check them out. Check them out. Okay, so. And then also, and oh, good morning, Soraya. Soraya's here. Hello, hello. Okay, um, so today, uh, our sponsor today is Elizabeth Craft Designs. And Elizabeth Craft Designs is for, for they're sponsoring our, our um, video today. And they are going to be giving out a 
$50 gift card. So that is pretty awesome for somebody, you know, which will pick a winner next week. You guys know what you're supposed to do. If you don't, you need to like, comment, and share my video here. And then I want you to head on over to Elizabeth uh, Crafts Designs page and, you know, give them a like to show them some love and, you know, just tell them thank you for their generous offer of sponsoring us. You know, we, we got to We got to give it to our, we got to give it to our sponsors uh, guys, because if it wasn't for them, you know, we wouldn't be able to give away these awesome prizes. So, you know, we're really excited about that. So, and they also, as an added bonus for everybody. Okay. Not just a winner, but for everybody, they, uh, offered us a 15% coupon, off coupon, okay? So if you're interested in buying from the website, then when you go, you know, when you're going to go to check out, um, I believe there'll be, a, you know, a place where you can put a coupon in. And if you put in Bella Crafts, all in capitals, okay, that will give you a 15% discount on off of your complete order. So that's pretty awesome, too. Thank you, Elizabeth. Um, craft designs we absolutely love you guys um, and and I'm grateful um, that you sponsor us I'm so grateful so thank you for that okay the other quick announcements that I want to make is our do you love to craft group that Ann and I started uh, over you know the other Facebook page that we started we have hit over a thousand likes in just a few months that's how quickly we have grown so we are totally psyched about it. And we did tell you guys that we were going to pick a winner, you know, um, from that group for a $100 gift box from Ann and I, okay? So I will be announcing that winner and then also last week's winner from, um, okay, what did we do last week? Oh, geez, it just slipped my mind. Okay, I'll remember. I'll remember which one we did last week. Um, but I'll be announcing that winner also. Okay, so without further ado, let me show you guys what we're going to be working on today. I'm so excited about this. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now this is a planner page that I did with my granddaughter Zoe. And as you can see, you know, when you're looking at when you're when you're thinking about planners you don't think about this kind of stuff right you don't think about being able to add all kinds of fun cool stuff to your planner pages guess what people you know it's it's just another surface for us crafters to craft on and i absolutely love it so this is what we're working on today i'm going to show you how to create this page with these awesome products from Elizabeth Crafts. You guys are going to love this stuff, I'm telling you. It's just so cool. Okay, so let me set that off to the side. And then just let me show you real quick. Now, they were so generous with Ann and I. And, and again, thank you guys so much. I appreciate your generosity. I have to show you guys this because it's just absolutely stunning. This is one of the planners that they had sent to us. This planner... Okay, it's a it's a binder, you know, a ring ring binder. It's absolutely stunning. I I mean, such good quality. It's beautiful. Here's the inside. Mine is going to be filled to the roof because I'm going to be crafting like a maniac in this because I just absolutely love it. So, this is one of the, you know, one of the items that they have for their planners and, you know, and whatnot. So I wanted to show you guys this beautiful planner because it's just absolutely gorgeous. So um, check that out when you guys hit their website. And then also, let me put that off to the side. And then for today, what we're working on today is these awesome die cuts. Okay, this is one of the die cut sets that they sent me. And as you can see, it, you know, it gives you your page that you can, you know, use to cut out your pages. And then you've got frames up here and you've got other little, you know, doodads and decorations. And down here 
on this side here we go you've got um hole reinfor reinforcements which i really love i really love hole enforcements because i'm really hard on my date books so you know because they go wherever i do so i'm really hard on mine so i love that too so they sent me this this is what we're working with today and then also to decorate it they sent me this awesome die now isn't that cool look at that guys okay so we're going to be doing that and then they also sent me this really cool stamp set now it does have, and this is what I love about this particular stamp set, because it does have, you know, everyday things in it that you want to put in your date books, like don't forget, or this is important. Um, down here, you know, there's another stamp that says right now. So it's really good for your, for your date books if you're not decorating a particular page. You know, okay, let me wait, let me back up. To decorate your pages, yes, but if you're if you're doing it more on a date basis instead of you know doing a pretty flowery one like I did with my page, okay. So if you're if you're decorating, you know your don't forget you have a doctor's appointment or something like that. So that's one of the things I love about this because it has those stamps in there. Also, with the other cute stamps that I used on my page, was you know a family love this life little moments big memories remember this you know real life count your blessings you know uh, i love everything about this good times together in my heart selfie time fave moment for the record so those are all in there also and they also have a couple little cute stamp flowers too aren't those cute all right so now that i've showed you all this cool stuff Let's take a look, and I'll show you how to create this page. All right, I'm going to move the camera down. Okay, there we go. All right. So, again, okay, let me adjust that just a smidge. Okay, there we go. Okay, so here's the page, once again, that we're doing today. And like I said, isn't this just so cute, you guys? Absolutely love it. So, I'm going to show you how to do this page beautiful page all right so once again you're going to need these items okay that I'm showing you here from Elizabeth crafts so you're going to need these and then you're also going to need some cardstock uh, ink pads um, let's see you're gonna need some tape and I think that's about it. Oh, you're going to need, uh, obviously, you're going to need a die cut machine. Okay, so here's what I did. Oh, Anne did pop in. Hi, Anne. Oh, and Teresa's here. Hi, Teresa. It's nice to see you. Okay, I'm just checking to see who else popped in while I had my head down. Okay, and Alicia, this is your first time from the UK. Welcome. Welcome, my friend. We love new people. Yes, we do. All right, and Joan's here. Hi, Joan. All right, I think I said hi to everybody so far, so I hope I'm doing okay on that, that part. Okay, so to get started on this, guys, okay, what I did was I took a piece of pattern paper, okay, and because this pattern paper is very thin, it's only one-sided, so it's very, very thin. Of course, you know, I adhered uh, some white cardstock to the back of it, okay? Just like you guys have, you know, I tell you all the time that if you want thicker paper, that's the best way to do it. You know, a little bit of the, you know, spray adhesive, slap it on, and you're good to go, okay? So that's what I did here, and I cut out all of my elements first, okay? So this one is the planner page itself as you can see and then I took the some glitter paper and I did these the uh, hole enforcements first or reinforcements okay I put those on first so once you do that then you're ready to decorate your page I like to do this first because I found with working you know working with it once they're there then it it's more obvious for me not to put something over it so I can't you know, put it in my book. 
okay? So that's why I add mine first. Okay, so take all of this, and then as you can see, these are all of the awesome die cuts that they sent. Okay, there's the one. And these are all just absolutely so cool. Okay, now this is just cut out with regular cardstock. And then for these, I just used a, a pattern paper. Okay, but I'm going to give you a hint on this in just a minute. Okay, so hold that thought. And then also, it has all of these, you know, like I said, the cute little frames. And you know the frames, you can use both pieces, right? When you're cutting it out. So, of course, that's what I had to do. And then also, it also had all of these cute little, like, name plates. I cut those out. And again, I did these with glitter paper. Okay. And then this tab one that I really, really thought was so cute. Okay. All of this I did with, you know, with a couple different um, colors of clear paper. So you guys know what to do. You know, you lay your plate down, you run it through your die cut machine and pull it out. And there you go. You're good to go. Okay, so you've got all of those little elements. And then what I did is I cut up some strips of white card stock. And then I stamped on those. And then that's what I want to add to my pages. Okay, here's another one. So cute, right? Absolutely love this. Okay, so let's get decorating so I can show you how to put all this together. All right, first thing you're going to do is add some ink to around your base here. Okay. And again, I just have regular dye, uh, dye ink pads. Okay. And then what I did, now this one is pretty strong, this pink. So I kind of like to put it off a little bit. There we go, before I start. And then you just take it and you just roll it around all the way over the edges of your page. See how cool that is? And then for me, I just love that, you know, because the pattern in the background is so faint, which is what I wanted because, you know, when you're doing stuff like this, especially if you're adding pictures, you don't want your pattern paper to take over your picture to where all you see is the pattern paper, right? So with this, the pattern paper is so, you know, it's so uh, light in the background that I wanted to give the edges some color to make the whole page pop. Okay, so you start off by adding your ink all the way around. Okay, and we're done with that. All right, and then you're ready. Really, once you cut everything out, you've got everything all cut out. You're ready to put it all together. Okay, now, what I did for this, because this is very intricate, right? Okay, because it's so intricate and stuff, when I ran it through the die cut, I, I, I put a piece of double adhesive sheet behind it first. Okay, so I took my pattern paper, I put a piece of adhesive on the back of it, and then I ran it through the die cut that way. So then that way, when I go to lay it down, because it's so intricate, you know, you don't want to put tape and stuff around this because it's not going to, you know, it'll show. And I didn't want any of that. And you don't want to put glue back there because glue will also show. So if you just put an adhesive sheet on the back of it, then when you're ready to do it, then you lay it down and go. Now, I would have done the same exact thing for this die, with an exception of, I forgot. <laughs> so it's as simple as that, guys. I just forgot to put some adhesive on the back of that. So for this, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on it just so I can get it down. But when you're using intricate dies, use adhesive backed paper and 
it just makes things so much easier for you. Okay, so that's my tip for the day. All right, so we're going to take this, and I've already started it. I'm going to peel it off here. And then I just took it, and I just laid it down on my sheet or on my planner page. And I did go over my edge just a little bit because I like that look. Okay, so we're going to add that one first. And then we're going to take this really cute one that has all of the, it's got different letters and stuff in it. We're going to take this one. And as I said, I would have put this through with some adhesive, but I forgot. So we're going to do it this way for now. Because this isn't quite as delicate as the other one, and it, which I absolutely love because it's just so detailed. So you can get away with putting a little bit of glue on this if you have to, okay? All right, so we're going to lay that down, okay, just like that. All right, and now you're ready to build the rest of your page. So what I did then from there is I took this picture of my granddaughter and I, and I put the frame already around it, as you can see there, okay? Then we're going to take this little tab here. And I don't know if you guys have tried this new tape. Well, it's new to me because, you you know, you guys know that have been following me for some time. You know that I'm actually a glue girl. I do really, really love my glue. Um, but I have to say that I am totally in love with this tape because it works so well. And you don't have to cut it, which is what I love. You don't have to cut it. You can tear it right off, which is so awesome. Because you can't do that with red line tape. And it sticks really, really well. Okay, so we're going to put a little piece of tape on that one. And I'm going to cut another little piece off and put it here on the other side. There we go. All right, and then we're just going to start building our page. Okay, so I took this. And just, whoops, here we go. Oh, I just noticed that my nails match this page. <laughs> How cute is that? Okay, so I just took this little tab here that I just think is so cute and stuck it on my picture. Okay, and then on the rest of these, you're going to do the same thing. Okay, you're going to add some tape to the back, but first, if you'd like, add a little bit of color around your papers, okay? Now, these are just the frames that come, you know, these are the insides of the frames that come with the die cut set. So, we'll do that one with the pink. And then let's peel this off. And then we're going to add a little bit around this green one. Okay, just a little bit of ink around the edges again, just to kind of, you know, make them pop out a little bit. I always like my edges covered. You guys know that. I've been telling you that for a year, well, for quite a while. Actually, it's been almost two years since I started doing this, guys. Crazy, right? Okay, so once I have this done... Then what I'm going to do is just start putting tape on the back of all of these cute little pieces that I have. And I'm going to start putting my page together. Okay, so let me grab this tape here. There we go. All right. So we're going to put one there. And I'm going to add another one on this one. And, of course, you know, when you're doing this at home, you might want to add a little bit more tape if you don't feel like, you know, uh, it's enough. This, this tape is, is really, really good. So I didn't have any issues with it sticking, so I didn't put a lot of tape on it. And it seemed to work perfectly, so I was very happy about that. Okay, and then I took this other picture of my granddaughter. And I, 
This was us crafting one day. When she came to stay at the house with me, we always like to craft. That's our thing, you know. She um, makes cookies with her papa, but with Nana, she likes to craft. Well, you know, like go figure, right? Okay, so I'm just going to put all of these little pieces together here in this cute little frame. Now, another good thing, Elizabeth crafts with these tapes. They have them in all of the different sizes. So these thin frames that you have for your photos, they've got this tape that will go around, that will fit on the frame. So absolutely love that. Okay, so let me find the end. There it is. Find the end on that. And then I'm going to put this on here. Okay. Okay just like that all right and then these other little pieces we're going to stick some tape on these also and then we're going to peel all this tape off and then add all of the elements to the page okay now as you can see too when i stamped this i did stamp it with a black ink pad and then I took my um, pink pad and went around the edges and then purple with this one, okay? So just so you guys know, that's what I did with those. All right, let me put this frame on real quick. And the other thing that I love about this tape, this part doesn't stick to me. You know, I, I, I love the red line tape. Don't get me wrong. I, you know, I do love it and I have used it, but it always sticks to the, the coating always sticks to me and I can never get it. I'm constantly doing this and it doesn't, this doesn't do it. So I love that too. All right. So we're going to put that on there. And then last, we have these cute little tabs. Okay, and we're going to add some tape to the backs of these. All right, one there and one here. There we go. And then for these, I stamped these other cute little sayings out. Okay, this one says, in my heart. And this one says, love this life. Okay, really pretty, right? Okay, so we're going to stick some tape on these. There we go. And then one more. Okay. Then we're going to be ready to put it all together. Okay. So I've got all my tape and everything on all of my little elements here, right? So now I'm ready to start peeling off backs and start layering it all down. Okay, so we're going to put this one up here. Okay. See, I would add a little bit more tape around the edges there, but we didn't do it because, you know, we're in a hurry. All right, and then we also have this one. Okay, and this is going to go down here. This end. There we go. And then the last one that we're going to add is this. And again, these are just, you know, pattern papers that I used. I did not back any of these because they don't need to be backed because you're adding them as embellishments, you know. This I wanted back because I wanted it to be a little bit sturdier to put all of my elements on. All right, so now we have all of these on. Then the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to put these last little name plates on. Okay, so we've got one that's going to go here. There we go. And then, of course, I'm going to put my little saying on here. Now, 
I'm going to show you what the other one. I didn't show you with this one, but I'm going to show you what the other one. This the other one that I do here in a sec. Okay, I did add brads to these. Okay, so this one I'm going to go ahead and put the brads on. And these, you know, I put these on, but they're really, really not necessary. You know, it's just a decorative look. Okay, so I didn't do it because it needed to be done. I just did it because I thought it looked pretty. So when you do these, though, you're going to have to, so they don't move around and fall out, you'll have to uh, add a little bit of tape to the back just so they'll stay down when you go to adhere them to your page, okay? So we're going to add another little slip right on top here. Okay, so that's what I did with these. I just added the brads, and then, like I said, you want to tape them down in the back so they stay on your page, because if not, you know, they'll kind of roll around, okay? Either that or you can use bigger brads. I happen to like these because they were really nice and decorated and really cute. So I wanted to use these. All right, let's try it with this end here. Okay. All right, my tape is giving me, there we go. A little bit of issue, but we got it. Yes, we do. Okay, so then this one, of course, is going to go down here. And then I add my other little tag or saying, whatever you want to, you know, whatever you want to call it. I just think they're just so darn cute. And yes, this tool does come in handy when you have nails like mine. For those of you that are wondering. <laughs> Okay, so we add that, okay? And then last but last not least, we're going to add our little sayings. And just add them on to your page here. And then another one up here. Okay. Let's get rid of all of that. All right. So we have all of our elements on our page, as you can see. And then what I did here was I just added a, a little sticker just to, you know, um, just to add something different. A little sticker that I added there, but on my sample, but I wanted to show you guys that the set also has these. This one says, love this. One says, yes. And then they have a circle one, which is cool. And then they also have a circle like this, a circle frame, which is cool. So that's what I'm going to put on this. And what I did was I just added a little bit of white cardstock to the back of it once I cut it out just so you can see the wording just a little bit better because if not, the wording would be too, um, you wouldn't be able to see it against this pattern paper. Like, let me show you. If I put that on there, you can't really see that really well. So that's why I added a little piece of white cardstock to the back of this one and stuck it on there. There you go. And then the last, very last thing that I did was I took my stamp pad and the stamp that says family on it. And I just took that and I put it right here on the top. There we go. And that's how you create these very, very fun planner pages. Wasn't that fun? I absolutely love these. They are so, so cool. You guys are going to love creating these. I'm telling you, you're going to get hooked. I can understand now why they said everybody got so hooked on this. I can understand it. It is so much fun. 
So make some of these, guys. You're going to love it. I promise you, you will love it. And yes, Elizabeth Crafts has got awesome designs. Their stamps are beautiful. I'm going to move this back over here. Let me clean up my mess here just a, just a smidge. All right. So, there I am. Wasn't that fun? Wasn't that, like, so much fun? It's just... And it's so simple. You guys saw how easy I put it together. And, you know, you don't have to... You don't have to add a, a whole lot of stuff. I mean, you could spend hours on this. You know, I promise you that. You could spend hours creating a page. Because I know I could. Because I love little details and, you know, stuff like that. So, I could do that. But... If you don't have time and you still want to create an awesome page for your planner, that's how quick it went, guys. See that? Isn't that cool? Absolutely love it. So, so much fun! Thank you so much, Elizabeth Crafts, for these awesome products, for sponsoring us for today. You guys rock. Oh, and they're here. I see them. Hi! Oh, my gosh. Okay, let me stop real quick. And see, oh, Amy popped in. Hi, Amy. How are you? Okay, let me see if, I'm not going to, you know, if you have questions right now, I won't answer them now because that might take some time, you know, and everybody's got things to do. So, um, of course, you guys know that when I'm done, I always go through all of the comments and I always, you know, respond. So, no worries there, okay? If you have a question on anything, I'll be happy to answer. Okay, so I think you guys are just all popping in, making comments, which is awesome. Thank you guys so much. You guys are so supportive. You're so, so supportive, and I love that so much. That's what I love about creative people. It's just super, super supportive, and I love that. I really do. Okay, so now that we have finished, don't forget, like, comment, and share my video here. And then head on over to Elizabeth Craft Designs, their Facebook page, and, you know, give them a like, give them, share them, you know, spread the love, guys. Tell them, you know, thank you for sponsoring for us because we love that, okay? And then don't forget because they're giving away a $50 gift card that I will be drawing next week. And also... Don't forget that 15% coupon off your entire order. That was very, very generous of them to do. Um, again, it's uh, the coupon code is Bella Crafts, and it's all in capitals. You guys could only use it once, though, okay? So uh, keep that in mind when you go to order. Just, you only get to use it once, okay? But that's very, very awesome of them to do that. So thank you so much for them for doing that. And let's see. Oh. I have winners to announce. Yes, I do. Okay. So, from last week, okay, last week's winner is Lisa Jano Service. 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 I hope I didn't butcher that, Lisa. I probably did, but sorry if I did. But anyways, congratulations. You won last week's prize. I will be getting into contact with you to let you know that you won. So congratulations on that. And then the Do You Love to Craft group that uh, Anne and I are giving away a $100 gift box. And Anne and I, let me tell you something right now. When we put gift boxes together and we say they're going to be at least $100 or $50 or whatever, it's always more, I'm telling you, because we get crazy and, you know, we just throw all kinds of stuff in there. Okay, so that winner for the Do You Love to Craft group for the 1,000 likes, okay, because you guys were super cool about that, is Martha Gomez Hernandez, okay? So, Martha, I will be contacting you also. Congratulations. I'm so happy for you guys that you won. And uh, let's see. Oh. I do have one other thing to tell you guys. We will be giving away another $50 gift box uh, to the person that tagged the most people, you know, that tagged their most friends for Do You Love to Craft, okay? So we're going to be doing that next week. So 
tag your friends to join the group, you know, and let us know that you're tagging them. And if, you know, if you haven't let us know before, let us know. And then um, next week I will be, will be drawing that winner also. Okay. So there you go, guys. That's it for me today. I will answer, as I said, any comments or questions that you guys have. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I really, really enjoy spending my Wednesdays with you guys. I really, really do. Um, to be honest, I had kind of a rough weekend because I had to go through some of my mom's stuff. You guys know that I lost my mom back in April. And I was really looking forward to this live because I always feel so much better when I'm here. So thank you guys for that. Thank you for all the love and all of the wonderful things that you share with Anna and I. We appreciate it so, so much. All right. So have a wonderful week, everybody. I will see you all next week with another fabulous project. I think next week is Lawn Fawns coming up. I think next week. Okay. So we're going to be doing something with them next week. Until then, have an awesome week. I will see you all next week. And as I always say, don't forget to take some time to craft because it's good for your soul. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye. I'll see you all next week. <laughs>